No, no one knows it, but I know this. So, ah, my ex-girlfriend. Uh, so she came at the parking and he burned my motorbike. But uh, the motorbike burned other three bikes. That is crazy, man. <laughs> Keep it for you. <laughs> Unzip stories, unbelievable events, real people, legendary tales. This is episode one. Let's start by your name. My name is Samuel. For the sake of our audience, where are you from? I'm from Italy. Italy, all right. Where are you currently? Now I'm we're in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka, all right. And lastly, where does your best life story take place? Uh, in Canary Island and okay. in Italy. And yes, also in Sri Lanka. When someone asks you to tell them your wildest story, recent, old, what comes to mind? Uh, I think my experience with my caravan living inside for five years uh, was wild. Uh, lot of nature, a lot of connection with the nature. And uh, yes, a lot of uh, strange events also. Sometimes uh, you're alone. Uh, in the middle of the nature. So what's what's the wildest situation you had with the nature? I think one time I was uh, totally alone and I end up uh, with the um, wheels of the caravan stuck on the beach. How'd you get out? Uh, I was lucky that there uh, were some surfers that passed by and we started to to leave the sand outside of the wheel in a at first uh, two people, then three, then four, then five, then comes a friend with the jeep uh, and then we get out the van uh, in a... Uh, yeah, I think... So you're lucky there's a lot the, of people around you. Yeah. You're alone. And was, the, the main thing is that the tide was coming up. Oh, okay. Yes. During your travels, have you had any close calls, dangers, scams, best moments? Uh, yes. I get uh, some scams, uh, some people uh, stole me some things. Uh, How did that happen? Uh, it happened when you are uh, in Spain, especially when you are uh, in isolated places. Uh, and uh, yeah, I was just uh, inside of the caravan eating and my bike disappeared one time. Was it a pedal bike or motorbike? It was an uh, electric bike. Electric bike, yes. no lock, no nothing? No, no, it was, it was not locked, uh, but it was just outside of my caravan and I, and I was eating inside with a, a window and I didn't... Uh, didn't notice. No, I didn't wow. notice. How, how expensive was the bike? Uh, just 400 euro. Do you have any other outrageous events in your lifetime? Oh, yes, I can start from my early age. That, uh, at uh, 16 years old, uh, I will start to take in drugs. Uh, I will start to go to a lot of uh, parties. Uh, then uh, what, I end up... Uh, what drug did you start taking first? Uh, uh, first marijuana. Marijuana. And then go with ecstasy and ketamine and all the, this, those chemicals. Yeah, yeah. And you end up bad with uh, heroin and crack also. But uh, later... So at, what happened uh, after you started taking them? Ah, oh, yes, you know, it's like uh, being uh, in a dream. Uh, you are a kid uh, and all people in the parties were super friendly with you. All the old, older people were friendly with you. It's, uh, like uh, living in another world. Other world. It's not the reality. Were the other people also on drugs or just you? No, no, no. All the people were on drugs. Everyone? The, yes. At the parties in Italy, all the people. Italy? Yes. And the thing is that uh, we don't have uh, too much things to do in Italy. It's like an isolated uh, village. Mm. And uh, yeah, a lot of people end up in uh, drinking a lot uh, and goes to these kind of parties. Uh, and yes, in my case, I was uh, a poor kid and I started also to selling the drugs. So I was more uh, stuck inside of this, um, in this type of situation. I see. And uh, yes, I end up um, want to leave this uh, situation, but my friends, my really good friends were uh, really inside of that. And I end up uh, buying a caravan, as I told you before, and uh, travel by myself. For uh, the first two years, uh, it was like uh, a lot of uh, uh, introspective uh, experience because I was alone in the caravan, right. traveling. And you know, when you're traveling, especially with the caravan, that you are uh, at home alone uh, at the end of the day, it's not like being in a hostel. Then you meet people. Uh, you're on your own all the you're time. You're on your own all the time. Yes. How did that affect your uh, mindset? Were you okay? Were you stressed out? Uh, at the beginning, it uh, was super okay. Like I was enjoying it, I was uh, knowing better myself. But after three, four years, uh, I end up, uh, you know, 
uh, looking for people to spend time. Three to four years? Five years at, five, at in total. In the caravan? Yes. How are you making money for the most part in your travels? The first two years, I was taking uh, uh, unemployed uh, salary from the nice, government. Nice. Yes. <laughs> Yes, that was very whatever. nice. That was very nice. Yeah. And uh, in the last three years, I was doing uh, the seasons in Italy. Mm -hmm. So worked for three months. And then the other time of the year was uh, just saving money, spend money, uh, surfing. And uh, yes, healthy life. Did that trip start about five years ago today? Or is it? Yes. Or is that older story? Uh, six years ago. Six years ago. So you're yes. still pretty much traveling from six years ago right now. Uh, yes, yes, more or less. Nice. Good lifestyle. Yes, thank nice, you. <laughs> nice. Do you have any epic ex-girlfriend stories? Anything crazy? Anything insane? Uh, uh yes, I went to ah my ex-girlfriend, uh, which uh, I spent uh, uh, four years with. That is crazy, yeah, man. That is really crazy. Tell us the story. Yes. What's, what's the juice? Okay. One time, I, I go with another girl, okay? Oh, you cheat? Yes, oh, yeah. At, uh, after three years. And she, <laughs> she wants to burn my motorbike. Your which? My, bot my motorbike. Your motorbike? Yes, she wants to burn my, my, wow. my motorbike. Is that and the uh, girl you cheat with or the ex that wants to burn it? The, the, the ex. The ex. The ex, yes. So, she came at the parking. And he burned my motorbike. But the motorbike burned other three bikes. Oh wow. That was near. And uh, no no one knows it, but I know this. No cameras, no nothing. No camera, no nothing. Wow. How, how do you think she lit it on fire? Gasoline can? Like how does this even happen? Yes, yes, with the petrol. Petrol? Yes. So she poured petrol over the bike and then match and walk away or what? Yes. Probably? Yes. Wow. That is crazy, man. Wow. <laughs> Keep it, it for you. <laughs> oh. One time, uh, because uh, I was not uh, going back home, he, he started to call me and uh, say, oh, there is the police at home, he's looking for you, there is the police, uh, he's looking for you, he started crying, and I come back home and there were no police. And, uh, for no reason? Yes. Just to see you? I, I never know if it's true or if it's not true, but I she think She just wanted to see your beautiful face. She missed yes. you probably. Yes, yes, yes. Anything else? Any more other ex-girlfriends with crazy stories? Or that's the one. Ah, that's the best one. Then that's I one. get, I go to some good girls. Good, oh, good girls. Yeah. So good, yes, good yes, yes. Nice. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's pretend there's a warning label tattooed to your forehead. In one word, what does it say about you or your personality? Oh, <laughs> good question. A warning label. A warning label. Yeah. Also, maybe calm. Sometimes not uh, so good I because see. I'm really, really relaxed most of the times. So. For a guy that qualifies himself as calm, it's interesting to hear that he had an ex burn down a motorbike. Yes, I was the, the calm part of the oh, relationship. I she was crazy. I was not. I was trying to fix him. I see. I see. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Are there any memories you don't tell your friends, but you want strangers to know? Oh, that I was, I was going with my friend's girlfriend, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's exactly what we want to know. Yes, yes. But uh, at the end... Uh, I think my friend knows. Oh, he knows? And we're still friends. Nice. Can yes. you elaborate on that story from start to finish? How did everything unfold? Ah, uh, you know, we were... Uh, pass on it? We were very young. How many years? Uh, 14. Oh, wow, okay. It was my first girlfriend. But it was not my first girlfriend. I, it's a good story. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yes. So, my, my, my friend was uh, 18. And uh, he was with a girl. That girl had a friend of uh, she and uh, my friend wanted uh, to have sex with uh, the friend of his girlfriend. So his girlfriend asked to my friend that uh, she want to have sex with me. Wow. And that was the first time I uh, I had sex. And you're 14. Yes. Wow. Nice. Congra congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and uh, then what's happened? Uh, okay, we did the, the change, right? But then this girl, uh, like, not fall in love with me, but he wants to have a relationship with me. And we, you know, we were young. And uh, we still uh, meet each other in secret. How uh, many times would you say over the span? One year, for one year. One year, wow. Yes, for one year. And she was still dating the other guy? Yes. Wow. Yes. 
and uh, yeah, mm, you know, the one of the worst uh, things that happened is that one time I was at the home of this girl, and my friend comes, and uh, I literally jump out of the window <laughs> and uh, go away with the bike. How many stories was the building? Like, what floor were you on when you jump out the window? Ah, the first floor. First floor. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. So was, you weren't stuck was, on third floor or something? No, 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 no. Nice. Uh, was lucky. It was not a big jump, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. It was good. It was then good. how did he know or catch you? Uh, I think she talks with him. Mm. Towards yes. the start? Towards the end? Towards the end. Towards the end? Yes, yes, yes. And uh, after years, after like four more years, we we talk also each other, me and my friend, and uh, we are still good friends. Yes, I think uh, he's one of friend of uh, my life uh, since the nice. since we were super young. Uh, you know. Did he confront you about the whole situation at some point or no? Uh, not really. No. So no. both of you kind of know but don't know. Yes. What is your strangest? most offensive or worst encounter you have had with someone you did not know? Ah, you, I was partying, I was selling drugs, and uh, one person uh, stole me all uh, the drugs I was selling. How did that happen? Ah, it was uh, just, uh, oh yeah, you have uh, ecstasy? Yes, I have, oh, let's take a look, let's take a look. And uh, when she looked, uh, when he looks, he grabbed the bag and uh, he, he ran away. You try and catch him? Yes, I tried to catch him, but uh, he went inside of a club and uh, when he was inside, I was stopped doing nothing. That's it? Yes. What do you think the value of the bag was? Uh, $200. Have you ever been caught by cops or police? Yes. One what? time in Slovenia. Slovenia? Yes. And how, was what was the experience of that? Um, I was lucky that it was not in Italy. Because in Italy, the law is way more uh, harder with the drugs. I see. So I was lucky because... Uh, I was uh, going to this party, it's called the uh, Ambassador Gavioli in uh, Slovenia, it's uh, one hour and a half from my home. And uh, nothing, I just arrived at the party, I stopped in the park and uh, I was making some lines before entering in the, in the dance floor. What you kind know? of lines for the audience exactly? Uh, ketamine. Nice, okay. Yes, and I was having uh, 13 pills in my pocket. A which, sorry? 13 pills. What's a 13p? Pills, pills. Oh, 13 pills. Yes, yes, okay. sorry. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and nothing. Uh, uh, a police uh, opened the door of the car and literally take, grab me from the T-shirt and take me outside. And nothing. They, they touch me, they make a perquisition and they found me those pills. And uh, they take me all over the night in the, well, in the station, in the police station. And uh, nothing. They released me after uh, 24 hours, and I go went uh, back home. That's it. Yeah, that's it. And uh, after uh, three months, I was uh, back uh, to the um, to the judgment, and uh, that's it. I just pay thousand euro and uh, wow, thousand. Yes, and uh, I, I was fine. Yes, for paying the lawyer. Yeah, yeah. Yes. How do you think they found out about you? Ah, uh, they just uh, know that all, all people have drugs in these kind of parties and they just uh, walk around uh, without the... Oh, undercover. The, the undercover, yes, of course. And uh, yeah, they just found people and uh, nothing, they want to make money. Do you think it's possible you sold the drugs to the police without knowing it, undercover? Uh, no. No, no you no. would know? No, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, very random questions. Does hot sauce belong on pineapple pizza? You ask the wrong question to the wrong person. <laughs> Pineapple pizza doesn't exist. Doesn't exist? Okay? Yes. Not in Italy either? No, 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 no. People get angry when you talk about pineapple in the pizza in Italy. I guess, yeah, I guess Italy is a place where you wouldn't talk about certain types of pizza, right? No. So no, when you no, go no. home, you'll ask someone, can you put hot sauce on my pineapple pizza in Italy? Yes, and they punch me in the face. I and think. deport you. Yes. Also in a funny restaurant in Fuerteventura, the, the owner of the restaurant in the menu, when uh, was uh, the title of the um, pineapple pizza was uh, Sorry Grandfather. So it exists somewhere in some places? Mostly touristic places. Tourist. Yes, I speak to Italian people who make pizza and I ask why you are doing pineapple pizza. And he answered me, 
because I'm doing a business, people want it, so I have to sell it. Have you had any experiences in your life where it's something you didn't want to do, but the money said yes? Uh, yes, selling drugs at the drugs end. Drugs was the one? Yes, at the end, uh, after... Uh, at the, at the beginning was super beautiful, super fun, but when uh, you are, uh, you know, after I get cold one time, uh, I still do it, it also after, but uh, with a lot of uh, precautions and uh, you never feel safe. Mm. Never feel safe also when you are home and you're holding like a kilo of... Uh, paranoid. Yes, yes. Very paranoid. Yes, you are not, uh, you know, you are not uh, chill, uh, mm. you are always... Uh, with this thing on mind to hide, 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 yes. So it sounds like it's just better to do them, not sell them. Uh, no, not even. <laughs> if you, if yes. going back, let's say to the start, time you started doing drugs, will you have still done them or no? Knowing what you know now. Uh, I, yeah, still done it, but less. Less, less. not as much. Not as much, because uh, it's a really nice experience. And uh, I think, uh, some person can't handle it, so you just try the experience and stop it. But uh, they call it drugs for a reason. I see. Yes, yes I see. Yes. Uh, if if someone is watching this video and they've never done drugs, yes, pick one drug and explain to them what it feels like. Oh, I explain like my favorite ketamine. All right. Okay, it's my favorite, and uh, okay, the effect. Uh, you take it uh, from the nose and uh, the effect starts uh, in uh, 10, uh, 15 minutes. And you feel a little bit dizzy, your uh, eyes uh, a little bit closer and you will lose uh, a little bit of balance at the right amount, of course. If you do too much, uh, you can be laying on the bed uh, without the conscious. Yes. So with the current amount, you feel like, uh, like when you're drunk, really drunk, but uh, you don't feel too puke and it lasts for one hour and a half. Mm. So it's like uh, easy and mm. uh, don't uh, really um, look you on the face that you are on drugs mm. because it's not uh, make your pupil bigger uh, and your eyes are not so different. And uh, the day after, you will not feel uh, too much uh, F like, I don't know, uh, ecstasy, for example, that the day after you are, you are died, uh, you right. are so exhausted. Uh, so you've not never like been that. exhausted after doing ketamine? Uh, yes, when you do a lot. A you, lot. Yes, but uh, with uh, the correct amount. Uh, perfect. <laughs> 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 I will not suggest it to other people, but uh, yeah, give it a try. <laughs> Always with uh, responsibility and uh, yeah, don't drive. Uh, doing a safe environment with uh, some sober people that can look at you because uh, yeah in my life experience i can uh, say that uh, there are there are people that take uh, this amount literally a little amount and feel super uh, stoned super uh, effective mm -hmm. other people that feel nothing everybody is different. different the body of everybody is different so Yes. Last question for ketamine. Apparently it burns your nose very bad when you do it. Is that true? Uh, yes, uh, it's, it's true. In yes. regards to Christianity, do you think it's a business or an actual religion? It's a business. Business? 100%. Why do you say that? Uh, because uh, they talk about uh, poor people, helping poor people, and they're wearing chain of gold, uh, and they are uh, in a really luxury environment, especially in the Vaticano. Are you yes. talking about the higher up people that are wearing chains? Yeah, also the higher up, but also the, the priest of my little village is holding a, a gold uh, and uh, yeah, I, I don't think it's uh, correct. Not correct. Yes. Do you I'm, ever want to just live in one place in a condo or a house and that's it? Or do you want to keep moving all the time? Uh, I want to keep moving until I find uh, my, my spot. Your spot, okay. Yes. How many countries have you been so far? Not too much, really. It's my first time that I'm outside of Europe. Oh, okay, nice. Yes. I've been a lot of time to Amsterdam, uh, but I don't like it. No. I've been a lot of time to Barcelona also, and I don't like it. No, okay. I've been to Canary Island for five years, and I enjoy really the, this place. It was beautiful. I see. Nature, uh, really relaxed vibe, uh, far from the parties and from the city. But uh, yes, now I want to travel a little to Indonesia, maybe the next year to Central America. So let's see and make my decisions about my past. But um, 
I never forget my homies in Italy. Of course. Of yeah. course. Do you think equality between men and women will ever exist? Uh, no. How come? No, because we are different in the the, um, the body. But uh, uh, women, uh, um, it's good to give uh, women uh, equality about the salaries, uh, about uh, those things, uh, and lo uh, laws, uh, and uh, yeah, all ab about... Uh, Common items. Yes, this. but we are different. What do you identify as? 100% male. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just checking. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You never know. You never know, yes, you never of course. Know. What do you think about people that identify other than male or female? Ah, it's super okay. Okay. Yes, yes, if they are enjoying it, if they are sure about it, uh, it's okay. No super okay. Yes, 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 yes. On, back to the topic of drugs, what do you think is the hardest drug you've taken? Uh, uh, crack cocaine. Crack cocaine? Yes. And you, you're off it now? Yes, yeah, super off. Off. Since five years. I'm How off. many times did you try it? Um, <laughs> if you 15, don't want to answer, it's okay. 15 times? 15? Yes, maybe. And how come you went off? Too much? Uh, no, I don't like it. Don't like it? Yes, well, it's good, I don't it's like good it. It's good for your body anyways. You're looking yes, yes, yes. When I'm doing it, I was, uh, it uh, completely changed my mind. Like, uh, for I, the better or for the worst? The worst. The worst. I was not liking to do it, mm -hmm. but uh, in, you end up in situations when other people are doing it and they say to you, let's take one, let's uh, smoke one. And uh, I will say, no, the first time. They ask me another time. I say, yes. After I do it, I want more. Of course. It completely changed my mind. Do you think that one is the most addictive out of all the drugs? Yes. Yes? Yes, this and heroin. But uh, yeah, the crack cocaine is uh, shit because also it costs a lot of money. Mm. And I uh, really have a friend that uh, ran his life for this shit. Uh, Ruined it? Yes, yes, yes. Spending so much money. Literally, in one night, you can smoke uh, five, $500, wow. 500 euros, sorry. Wow. Without uh, really doing too much. Eh? What do you think is the sexiest or hottest race of people? Uh, Latin. Latin. Latin? American. Which yeah. part of Latin? Uh, Colombia. Colombia, that's yeah. the one? Yes. Have you been? No. And you haven't been, but you think they're the best ones? Yes. When but... are you going? Ah, uh, late, late, when late? I'm older. <laughs> when I'm older. <laughs> You're going to get settled in there once you go. You'll find the wife and that's it, it's over. Yes. <laughs> what is your body count and how do you feel about it? <laughs> One moment. They are not too much, eh? Uh, wow, 20, 30 people. 20. Yes. How do you feel about it? Uh, I enjoy only when I'm on a relationship. Mm. I don't enjoy one-night stands, for example. Okay, the last question. If you could change one thing about the world today, what would it be? Ooh. <laughs> so deep, eh? Pineapple pizza in Italy? <laughs> no, uh, I think something more serious. Now if I ever want to think. So hot sauce on pineapple pizza in Italy. <laughs> yes. Uh, let me think about it one moment. No problem. Uh, but uh, I think something about, uh, yeah, the wars, the wars. Change the war? What would you change? Uh, I will uh, delete from the war the guns uh, and all weapons. The all weapons. Yes. Stop existing. Get no more weapons. No more. No more weapons. Sounds good. Thank you for your time. Thank you. <laughs>